Hi, in this video we're going to look at how to do a search of a MySQL database using PHP. So in the files that we've been working with in all of our database examples for our contacts database, there is the header PHP file. And in that header PHP file, we have the links for doing some other of the work in the database. But then we have a search field and a search form so that we can go through and look for people in our database based on certain criteria. So we have it set up as a form and the action is search. So it's going to send the information from our search text box to search.php. So we'll be setting up search.php to find the results. So when the user clicks this, we go to search PHP. So some things we'll need to know ahead of time before we do our coding is that in our SQL statement, we can use what's called the like operator. And it is a powerful way to extend how you can search for things in a table. We can combine that with the different wildcards to specify the different uh, pattern that we want to match. And the percent sign symbol is one that indicates any number of characters. So how could we put that together with an SQL statement to make an open-ended search? Here's a sample query. So um, select everything from contacts. So that means all of the fields. Select everything from the contacts table. And we're going to look for where email like, and then we're using the variable submitted from the search text box. And we're putting a percent sign in front of it and a percent sign after it. So in other words, Whatever the user types in, there could be anything before it and there can be anything after it. And that's going to look for that in the email. And then we have an or statement. So it's going to look in email or it could be in the first name field or it could be in the last name field or in the phone number field. And then we're going to put our results in ascending order by last name of the contact. So by using this repetitively for each of the fields, whatever the user types in is going to get searched for in email, it's going to get searched for in first, it's going to get searched for in last, and searched for in phone. So how does the, all of this get put together in our script? You should have a, a search PHP script that has some starter code in there for you. But uh, you can see at the beginning, we're connecting to the database. We're getting the variable submitted by the search form and calling it search. And then generating our SQL query. Right? And then down here, we're making the connection to the database. We're using the MySQLi num rows to find out how many matches there are and displaying that back out on the screen. Let me go to a longer version of this down here. So we have uh, the search results. We're going to display how many results we found. And then we're putting it into a table. It's going to loop through the results and create variables that we can use. And then this should look familiar. We're doing this. Uh, this is the same print here from the show contacts so that when we see the results we'll have the delete and the edit button so a sample some sample results we searched for AOL then we would have these two records displaying and then if we search for one two three then, then this is shortened up to fit on the screen, but when there were a total of eight results that matched one, two, three. So searching, not as complex as maybe you had initially thought. 